Hey guys, it is Thursday, September 17th, and I am here in Calgary in Canada for a business trip. So I have a pretty busy day today. I have two or possibly even three meetings, but I think right now I have two that are confirmed. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with those, and I'm just going to take you guys along on my day. So here we go. So it's a little bit cooler here than in Houston. It's probably about 55 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, um, which is nice because I'm enjoying the cooler weather as opposed to, you know, 95 degrees and humid in Houston. But this is why I'm dressed like an Eskimo because I love the cold, um, but I'm not really used to it since I've lived in Houston for five years. So now that I'm all bundled up, we will be on our way. Customers are also downtown, which means I can walk to all of their meetings, uh, which is great. So I'm going to head into my first one and I'll see you guys afterwards. hotel room I got my food to go because I still have a lot of emails and stuff that I need to work on oh god I'm like out of breath I feel like I was just walking the city all day and while I love that I do love the city I love walking around because you get exercise and the weather is beautiful here it's 70 degrees so it's amazing outside but just leaves me feeling really winded and tired um, walking around all day so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I got some bolognese from Amanti, so I'm really excited because I am starving. And I guess I'll see where the night takes me. I do need to pack because my flight is tomorrow at 9.15 in the morning, which means I have to get to the airport pretty early. So I will see you guys in a few. Oh, I am so full after eating that. Oh my gosh, it was bolognese which I don't really think it was bolognese because it looked more just like spaghetti, but it was still really good. The Italian food in Canada has been delicious so far. The pizza I've had, I had last night was amazing. And then the bolognese I had today just now was really good, but their portions are huge. So I could only eat half of it. Maybe I'll save the other half for dinner since it is still kind of early. I've been here for three days. I got here Monday night. I didn't film on Tuesday or Wednesday because those days were really busy. And obviously today's Thursday. And even though it was a busy day, I figured I could squeeze in some filming while I was walking around the city, which is always really awkward because people are normally on their phones like this, not holding it like this <laughs> as they walk around. So. You guys saw my little run-in with the random man that walked out the door of the hotel and just stared at the camera like, what is that girl doing? Most people, when they are on a business trip and the company's paying for the food, they'll go all out and they'll eat crazy big meals, steaks, fish, salads. And then you have me where I eat like a rabbit when I'm on a business trip and I'm like, oh, maybe I'll have a salad for lunch and you know, I'm gonna have some chips. So my food bill 
for all three meals for five days is normally like a hundred dollars. It's really, really cheap. So saving the company money. They must love that. Anyways, I'm going to get to work on some emails and also some account strategies for work. Probably take me probably two hours, which is kind of unfortunate. The hard thing about working and being on a business trip is that you have meetings all day long, all eight hours. And then when you get back to your hotel, you actually have another five hours of work ahead of you because you spent your entire day in meetings. So then it's, you know, following up after the meetings, sending follow-up emails, scheduling the next meetings, and just taking care of all the action items that you didn't get done from the day. So that's what I'm going to be working on. And then hopefully I will have some time to actually write a little bit. I do my best writing at night anyways, so I guess that kind of works out. super excited because I get to go to Phoenix, stop through Phoenix for the weekend to see my sister and um, celebrate her birthday. So it's starting to get late, so I need to pack. And as you guys, I think just saw in the last clip, I was putting my boarding passes downstairs. And like I said, I'm really excited because I get to fly into Phoenix on the way home to Texas. And Phoenix is where both my sister and my dad live. And it's actually my sister's birthday today, the 17th. So I'm bummed that I couldn't be there with her today, but I'm really excited that I can fly through Phoenix on my way home, stay the weekend there, and then celebrate her birthday then. So I'm very excited. I haven't seen my dad or my sister since May, when I graduated from <clears throat> Texas A&M with my master's degree. So it's been quite a few months, and I think the next time I'll see them is December for Christmas. But it's nice that I'm actually able to stop in and hang out with them for a weekend. Also brought, I brought three books with me this trip, which is very ambitious, but I was pretty much halfway through both of them. So I guess really it only counts as one book. But I finished Eve the Awakening on Tuesday or maybe Wednesday morning. And then I ended up finishing The Young Elites by Marie Lu last night. And now I'm currently reading Red Queen. And I don't know if I'll be able to finish this over the weekend, but seeing as I have a lot of flights, there's a good chance I will make my way through this one. And I think after I read Red Queen, I'm probably going to read Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss because I've heard it's awesome and I've been wanting to read it. So, I'm going to start packing. actually kind of sad because it's only like 8 45 in the evening and I am already in bed I'm really tired after today I answered a lot of emails and did a lot of work stuff had a lot of meetings talked to a lot of people so I'm just ready to veg out and relax I was able to write a little bit tonight which was good I wrote about actually it was right around 1500 words so I think that that's pretty good. I was going to record it, but then I thought you guys have already seen me typing so much on my laptop that that would probably be really boring. So I am going to read some of Red Queen before I go to bed. I'm all packed, which is great. It didn't take me that long because I'm super organized. So I'm going to read this and then I think I'm actually going to continue this vlog, kind of make it like a travel vlog into tomorrow and record some of my 
adventures with my family, with my sister and my dad. So I'll keep this vlog going, but I'm going to close out this portion for this evening. So I hope you guys have a good night and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's Friday, September 18th. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I am really tired. I was in bed by nine, but I actually didn't end up falling asleep until one o'clock in the morning, which means I only got five hours of sleep. So I am a little bit tired. I'm hoping maybe I can get some Starbucks on the way to the airport or at the airport, something to wake me up a little bit, but just finishing packing, as you can see right there. And then I'm gonna head downstairs and check out and then drive to the airport. And then it's on the way to Phoenix, yay! from dinner. We walked around Kierland and it was so great and Erin loved it. There she is. <laughs> Dad's trying to find the pump for my air mattress because the room I'm staying in doesn't have a bed. So that's really great. But we had chicken parmesan at North and it was really good and I am really really tired. So I'm probably going to go to bed, but I will see you tomorrow. So it is Saturday, September 19th, and I'm here at my dad's house in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, we had a really great dinner at North last night. I had chicken parmesan, and that was awesome. Unfortunately, my sister works today, I think from 9 to 5, so that's kind of a bummer. But once she's done with work, we're going to get together and probably go out to dinner or go shopping or something. I leave tomorrow at 3.20, which is kind of, I mean, that sucks, but I am ready to get home to my fiance and my puppies and my cat. So I am excited to go home, but it's really nice being home and seeing my family. I only get to see them a few times a year, so I like to enjoy it as much as I can. Saturday night. I'm sorry that I didn't film that much today, but I'm spending a lot of quality time with my family since I don't get to see them very often. But it's actually like 12 o'clock here and I don't know, just watch some funny movies. We watched that Will Ferrell show on HBO. That was pretty funny too. Just had some wine kicked back. Overall, it's been a really good trick. Trick. Ooh, trip. I'm sad that I have to leave tomorrow, but I have been away from home for like a week. I'm gonna go to bed now and then 
I'm probably gonna close out this vlog here since I'm just gonna be traveling back to Houston tomorrow, so not really that exciting. I'm just gonna be on another airplane. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.